while I was making this video, they've upgraded the storm in the Gulf of Mexico to an 80% chance of developing into a tropical storm or a hurricane in the next five days. And forecasters are now predicting up to a foot of rain on some Texas coastal areas and around eight inches in Houston. So it's all very serious. And all I'm asking is that you be alert, aware, and prepared. God bless everyone. 9-1-L. And rain. Flood, flooding rain's the biggest concern. Some areas could see a foot or more of rain through Friday, according to one of our models. You have to take every warning seriously, but you have to be prepared before the warning gets there. I'm taking my official space and Earth weather watch up a notch. I need your love. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. Area of interest that they're watching for a possible development. And you can see right now, it's centrally located across parts of the Western Caribbean, definitely impacting Cancun, Cozumel, uh, with the wind and kind of the, the rough surf, not to mention the rain coming down, but that moisture with this system. Whatever it develops into, maybe a depression, uh, is it named? I don't know. But definitely a, some entity helping to increase the moisture and the rain will be brought into Texas, into Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Louisiana, and rain. Flood, flooding rain is the biggest concern. Some areas could see a foot or more of rain through Friday, according to one of our models. Places like Oklahoma City, Little Rock, Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, obviously, and Amarillo, where severe storms will be in the mix for today. Kate was talking about the upper Midwest and how they're going to be dealing with it for tomorrow. Same holds true when you get into Texas, where we're going to have days of, of more of that onslaught of moisture, which will continue to feed into the Gulf of Mexico. And by the time we get into midweek, there are locations, as Kate was talking about, that could deal with maybe even up to a foot of, of rainfall just the south of Houston and over near places like Aransas, Port Aransas. Now, it's not the hurricane that I'm worried about it's the actual now it's not the hurricane I'm worried about it's the actual water rain moisture that Texas Louisiana and the Gulf areas would be getting because they've Texas had the most rain ever on record in May and uh, that stuff is still there it's for the most part a lot of people are like and some people have said you're fear-mongering this well dude you know just cuz I said that beware alert Texas might be flooding in the next few days, two days before the news channel said it, doesn't mean I'm fear-mongering. It just means I'm really smart. You got that? Okay, great. This is just a quick track. We are watching the storm that is rolling into the Gulf Coast of Mexico. And as our friend Henry Margasetti has pointed out from AccuWeather, the El Nino seems to pulse, which affects weather instantly across the United States. And what I'm pretty sure the pulse means is if you watch how everything just kind of grows, like boom. See how it all just kind of, boom, it all instantly, the cloud, the moisture, the storminess comes together. So look at these storm clouds gathering. They're growing, and they're headed straight for the Houston, New Orleans area. And then they're going to push straight up through Texas. At the moment, San Antonio is flooding. And as I've mentioned before, the flood rates in Texas are still very high. A lot of the water has not receded or drained into the earth. And so... Please turn around, don't drown. You know what I'm saying? We're just keeping our eye out on this thing because it's mildly scary and it definitely seems to be headed straight for there. And it looks like this storm will take a few days to pass. This is not good for Texas and this is not good for Louisiana. My parents just got back from a trip to Florida and they said that they were shocked at how much flooding still stood in Louisiana. And the same stands for parts of East Texas. So, everybody please be alert, be aware, and prepare as best you can. That's all I'm saying. And we still have... I mean, this thing has been here. Some form of strange weather anomaly has been in the North Atlantic Ocean for a while. We're talking like six, seven months. That's pretty bizarre. And as reported by many people, there's still an upper high-level pressure that is keeping all moisture out of California. That is very bad. We're now looking at total cloud water to get a better idea of what we might be facing this week. And as you can see, there's just a large clump sitting there that the jet stream will be pushing and pulling the moisture straight up through Texas into Oklahoma, Kansas, and through the plains, which have just been getting slammed again and again and again. So please, Houston, San Antonio, Austin, Monday and Tuesday, Dallas, watch out, be ready, be prepared. There's our hot and cold line. Where the big storm battles will probably take place 
All right. The more you know. The moisture continues to come into the west coast of Mexico and kind of slowly move this way as we head towards Friday. That moisture eventually, the mid-levels could get into the U.S. as well. We have tropical storm warnings, hurricane warnings, even a hurricane watch up for much of the west coast of Mexico and expect these to continue to be expanded along the coast as we have uh, Carlos kind of moving in this direction as well over the next uh, 48 hours.